trying to sit here for a second so Facebook can get a still shot. <laughs> it's free training Friday. Guys, this is going to be quick. This is going to be quick. That is my goal is to make these free training Friday series episodes quick because we're all busy and people don't have time to be sitting down and watching an hour and a half replay. Okay. So my goal is under 15 minutes. If you're on this video, say hello. Good morning, Whitney. Say hello. Um, if you're an entrepreneur, small business owner, doesn't have to be direct sales, network marketing, drop it down below. I wanna see how many entrepreneurs we have. Just drop entrepreneur down in the comments so I can see and then tell me where you are watching from your beautiful city and or state okay all right we're gonna hop right into it like i said goal is 15 minutes or under i'm gonna give you a three step and also really quick grab a pen and paper <clears throat> okay i'm gonna give you two seconds to go grab a pen and paper because i want you to jot down a couple of things okay we're starting i'm gonna give you a three-step process to create content that stands out from everybody else. There is a way for you to create content that helps you to stand out from everyone else that does what you do. Everyone else that's in your business, in your industry, whatever it is, there's a way for you to stand out from everyone else, okay? I call this finding your six-figure differentiator. We're gonna find your differentiator, and I call this your content tilt. All right, write this down, the top of your page. Finding my six-figure differentiator, my content tilt. All right, and then write this beside your content tilt. Your content tilt, okay, obviously that is what separates you from everyone else, Okay, it's a particular point of knowledge that connects or meets with your passion. Your content tilt is a particular point of knowledge that meets and connects with your passion. That is your content tilt. And everyone needs to find theirs. That's what is going to set you apart from everyone else in your industry. Okay, it is so, so, so important. All right, so I want you to become the lead information person in this area. Okay, whatever your content tilt is, I want that is the goal for you to become the lead information person in that area. Become the expert. This is what you are going to become known for. And it's not gonna be you talking about your services, your products, um, your company, whatever it is. Okay, you're gonna become the lead expert person of knowledge in this area. And you're not gonna be talking about what you sell all the time. Okay? Know what your people need. Write this down, provide content around the lifestyle, your lifestyle, not products and sales. People connect, okay, people purchase from, people join, people support. You're a realtor, people buy houses from, people they like, know, and trust. How are you gonna build that, that like, know, and trust from a million different realtors in your town or city? Okay, I don't know, realtor just popped up. It seems like a good example. How are you gonna set yourself apart? When you're showing up consistently on social media, all right, and if you're a realtor and you're not on social media, get on there. Okay, I don't care what it is that you're selling, you have to find your content tilt that is gonna set you apart from everyone else. And it's gonna build that know, like, and trust. You're gonna become the expert in this particular industry. OK, 
Okay, so some of you might automatically, as soon as I said content tilt, what is your content tilt? Your differentiator. Some of you guys may be like, oh, I already know. Like, I already know I am the expert in this area. But some of you guys on here are like, okay, Ashley, this is great, but um, how the heck do I find out what my content tilt is? Uh, introducing the three-step process. <laughs> okay, that's what we're going to talk about. Step one. The easiest way to do this is to get a sheet of paper, okay? I did it myself down here to give you guys a little example. Get a sheet of paper, draw a line down the middle, okay? On the left-hand side, at the top of the paper, I want you to write commonalities, okay? Commonalities. Everything you have in common with the people that do what you do, all right? And I have fitness as an example. So on one side, you're gonna write commonalities, on the other side, you're gonna write differentiator, your differentiators. And this isn't gonna be like, you're gonna write them down right now and be done with it. Okay, you're gonna do this later today, after you hop off this video, when you actually can sit down, think long and hard about this. Okay, your commonalities are probably pretty easy to come up with. I have written down um, fitness. Okay, so your commonalities, are probably, you talk, people, everybody in this industry talks about exercise, right? You may talk about sleep, stress management. On the other side, write down your differentiator. What are your differentiators? So I have down things, okay, and this is your differentiator are things, write this at the top under differentiator. This is, these are things you know a lot about. Okay, just brain dump it all down under your differentiator. Just write down a list of things you know a lot about. Okay, I have down here limiting time on social media. Under fitness, and you guys are probably like, that has nothing to do. You're gonna be surprised what your differentiators, how it just overflows into your business. So limiting time on social media, being more intentional with your time on social media. It's gonna in turn help you get better sleep, right? Make your workouts better. Make your immune system stronger. Make you just an all around happier person. I am gonna become the expert. I am gonna go research literal brain studies on limiting time on social media, being intentional on social media, I'm gonna become an expert in that field and I'm gonna teach my people all about it. Anytime people are like, oh, I hate social media, or like it's so negative, or I'm like overwhelmed and stressed out, they're gonna be like, Ashley, like she's the expert in this area. And then let's just say, let's take fitness out of it. Let's just say I sell homes. I sell homes and I'm a realtor too. People already know they like me and they trust me. I've given them tips to literally make their life happier that has nothing to do with selling homes. But, whoa, it's like a seller's market right now and I need a realtor. I've been following Ashley for I don't know how long. She is literally an expert. She sells homes too, go with her, okay? I stand out from every other realtor in my town. Okay, apply this to your industry. Okay, so that was step one. Make a, make, get a sheet of paper, draw a, line down the, draw a line down the middle, commonalities on one side, brain dump, things you know a lot about on the other side. That's your differentiator side. Okay, and then you're gonna pick one. You're gonna pick one. Step two is go deeper into the thing, things, you know more about. So on your differentiator side, I want you to pick one that you're really gonna hone in on. That is going to be your perspective content tilt. Majority of your content is going to be about this. You're becoming the info, the lead info person, and this is gonna help you have command over your entire industry. Do you guys see how this works? Okay, I'm living, breathing proof of this. Add more value to your audience. 
not talking about your product or service. It is all about adding value to your audience, okay? Giving them what they need, information in a particular area. Okay, so that was step two. Go deeper into your differentiator. This means go research. Okay, do your homework. Become the expert in that, in that niche. Have you guys ever heard of um, this quote, the, the riches are in the niches? It's so important. And guys, when you do your content tilt, your goal is not to attract the entire world. <laughs> okay, it's not. It's to attract your certain people and you're gonna naturally repel people in this process. That is a really, really, really good thing. So my recovering people pleasers, like we just need to get that out of your system now. When you, right, find your differentiator and you hone in on that, you become the expert in that, you're gonna naturally repel some people. That is wonderful. Because when you repel those people, a hundred more people that want to know what you're talking about are gonna come your way, all right? Step number three, right? Step number one was making your sheet of paper, your commonalities, your differentiator. Step number two was going deeper, right? Doing the research, the homework, becoming the expert in your niche, in, in your content tilt, in your differentiator. Step number three is creating content around it. Creating content around your perspective content tilt. That's it guys, like don't overcomplicate this. But so many people just hop on social media and they're like all over the place, like talking about the products or just talking about, um, we'll use realtor for example, just listing houses and there's no lifestyle. Like there's no connection that's built with people. I don't know about you, but realtors I follow, realtors that I want to hire to list my home are people that inspire me, that people that teach me something, people that actually make me a better person and that actually connect with me. Somebody I feel like I've built a relationship with, even, even if I haven't talked to them, met them in person, but somebody I know, like, and trust on social media that I've learned something from. I know a little bit about their lifestyle. I know they're an expert in this certain area. That's who I want to hire to sell my home. Does this make sense? Yay, we're only at 12 minutes. Man, I'm getting good for under 15 minutes, okay? I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions below, um, need some help, uh, on your list of differentiators. You know, it's really hard for me to tell you what your differentiator is. Of course, I will help you as much as I can, but just take some time today, later this evening, later this evening to really just brainstorm and then brain dump on your sheet of paper just a whole list of things that you know a lot about. And every single person on here knows a lot about something. And I don't care if you're like, okay, I know a lot about cooking, but like I'm not an expert. Well, guess what? You're gonna become an expert. That's step number two. Go deeper on that. Okay, it could be cooking. It could be working out. It could be personal development. It could be becoming an expert around the industry that you're in, all right? I am personally in network marketing. Uh, my perspective content tilt, what is my content tilt? I'll just ask you guys. If you don't know, I haven't done a good job. <laughs> of portraying it to you all. What is my content tilt? What is my differentiator? I have become a go-to person of knowledge for my industry. I am an expert in this industry. Did it come overnight? No, I researched a lot and a lot was through trial and error and practice. And I can sit here and say with 100% confidence, I'm an expert in this industry. I've built two separate six-figure businesses. I know what I'm doing. That's how confident you need to be when you hone in on your differentiator. You need to become the expert in that.
that niche. Okay, it could be cooking, it, could, it literally, guys, it could be anything. It could be anything, you name it, that is, what, that is your differentiator. Okay, all right, guys, I'm gonna hop off of here, so this is not too long, but I will go through, reread the comments, answer questions, all of that. Happy Friday, um, this was episode number two. Next week, we're gonna talk about recruiting. All right, guys, bye.